Hey guys, welcome back from Pixel Insane and today another new material release for free. Today is going to be this flashy veins material and it's pretty cool. But before we dive into it, I just want to thank you all for watching my two videos right here. The one you see on the screen right now, the Spider-Man remake of the Wolf of Book scene and the other one battle at Liberty Island. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched them yet, please do consider to watch them right now. They're pretty, really cool. It took me a month each to make was a nightmare but it was fun and uh, the feedback was amazing so thank you all also if you're not subscribed yet please do to consider so another cool thing is that i have a patreon where you can download some files some project files big ones as well the one from the sandman with a really extensive video on that one especially so with no further delay let's dive into this video and here we are in blender 3.4.1 with this susan face with this fleshy skin material on it and also have a sphere and a cube. All of them have a subdivision modifier applied with uh, adaptive subdivision, which is connected to this one using an experimental so the displacement can displace better. Um, also, I have an HDRI. Maybe you will find it in the file as well that is missing, but you can upload any HDRI you want. So when you open the file, you have this one right here. You will have a sphere, but for now, we're going to check the Susan face because it's, uh, it's cool. Uh, we can delete the other two, we don't need them anymore. When you open the file, you will have this one right here with the material settings and it's pretty cool because it took me a while to set them all up with the colors and all the other values. So, um, what's the use of this material? What can you use it for? Well, maybe for some monsters, zombie type vibe uh, video you want to make. Um, it's pretty smooth, it's pretty quick to use. I think it could have a lot of use, especially because we have these veins with the subsurface scattering on it. Uh, it's really, really cool. But now I'm going to show you how to download the file and how can you use it and how to append the file into an existing scene as usual. So let's jump to my website. Right, back on my website, you just need to go to products or free material right here. And you have to sign up if you're not a member of my website. Of course I am, so I'm gonna just log in instead. But if you want, you can sign up with Facebook, Google, or your own email. I'm gonna log in with my own email. And voila, after you've done that, you're gonna be directed to this page where you can download all the other materials as well. Please do check them in the playlist right here. You know, if you feel generous, you can donate right here on this button right there. And then you can see right here at the top, the flash veins material. And we're gonna just click download. I'm just gonna put it in the desktop and remember to extract the file as well. Then we can jump back into Blender. All right, back into Blender. First thing we're gonna do is to click on file, open, then don't save this one, of course, desktop, and then flashy veins which is i already extracted it and then you will see the thumbnail right there flash veins and click on open and that's what you're going to get and then if we click in the render view of course you're going to see pink because the missing hdri which i'm going to reset again i'm going to go to my hdri i'm just going to pick a random one really and there we go we have it right there so this is really cool we can just select the material and either way it's from the shading tab or the material tab you can tweak all the options so let's check them out first thing we have the skin color so i can make it you know more uh, uh purplish uh more orangey even blue whatever your monster looks like i don't know um oh i actually like that one it's pretty cool uh, yeah let's go back to this one and then we can change the subsurface scattering as well the color we can make it more uh, bloody or something like that and then we have the bump the first bump because there are a few noise textures around if you click on tab you can actually see the all shading network right here and we have some uh, uh, Voronoi texture and then we have a noise texture and then we have other uh, three of them uh, for the veins this is for the skin itself and we're gonna go back by hitting tab and so the first bump is set to 0.6 we can increase it and we can see the difference if we zoom in yeah it's pretty obvious we can go back it's pretty cool and then the the scale of this noise which is related to this bump node as well we can set it to six yeah and then to one you can see the difference let's put it back to five and then we have the bump two for the other noise texture as you can see, it changes quite a bit. If we put all to zero, we can actually see it. There we go. So yeah, there you go. Put one and something like that. And then we have the same thing, the scale noise for the second one. So let's set it to, I don't know, maybe one. Yeah, it's pretty bad. The Voronoi, you can see the Voronoi pattern right there. And then we have the displacement, obviously. We can put it to 0 0.5. 
is really really strong um 0.1 there you go and then 0.2 i think is the optimal for this particular sphere obviously then we have the roughness which is set strangely not with the color ramp but with the map range which is really really cool so we can increase it right here so the roughness of the material is really really cool i think it works better than the color ramp so if you want me to make a tutorial about this one please do leave it in the comments down below and this is the roughness max value it's like moving the two sliders of the color ramps basically but you have values which is more uh flexible then we have the colors of the veins uh we can make it blue we can make it green there you go these are the big ones and then we can change the purple ones to, to green as well there you go and then orangey red um yeah it's pretty really cool and here it is how you append the file into an existing scene so we have this spider-man from uh, spider-man no way home the last scene with the new suit which i think it looks pretty cool this i made it myself all the textures and everything i'm thinking of making a video about it leave it in the comments down below but here we go so append we're gonna go to the desktop again flash veins and we're gonna go click on this one and then append going into the material and here we have it skin veins and append i'm gonna select my spiderman thingy and from the drop down menu i'm just going to select it it's gonna look really really weird really really flashy and we can actually click on the render view and wow okay okay it looks pretty sick but <laughs> and this is how you append the material into an existing scene um so uh that's pretty much it for this material i hope you enjoyed it please do consider to subscribe if you're not and check the spider-man videos because uh it really means a lot to me and that's all thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one ciao